We're very excited about adding another tree to the campus of Chipola College. If you're from here, if you're an alumnus, you know what a beautiful campus this was before Hurricane Michael. We lost 1,000 trees uh, in Hurricane Michael and it's changed the landscape here forever. But Dr. Clemens, our president, is dedicated to reforesting this campus. And our friend Robert Trammell, who's an alumnus, one of our most ardent supporters, he started this uh, tree planting project with his brother Jeff even before the storm. And, but now I think this is a really opportune time to plant this tree today. So at this time, I'd like to introduce the president of Chipola College, Dr. Sarah Clements. That's the sound of progress over there, so we, we appreciate that. Thank you so much for coming today. Uh, it's so beautiful out here, and this is what we look forward to in the future, is many days when we have an opportunity to come to the Student Center and to be out here on the patio. And as we do, we're going to gaze at this tree that has such historic significance. Uh, we are so proud to have with us the Trammell men uh, today. The women uh, couldn't, be, couldn't be here today, uh, Meredith and Kay, but the whole Trammell tribe uh, are great supporters of Chipola College. And uh, we know that uh, for years Robert has, uh, he was an employee here. He has worked with the Appreciation Club. Our basketball court is named Trammell Court. Uh, and so he just has such a long list of contributions and now he is dedicated uh, to helping us retree our campus. Uh, he is especially proud today to uh, tell us, bring his brother here and for them to tell us about the great legacy uh, that uh, is going to be shared with us that comes from the fifth president of the United States, James Monroe, his home. Uh, on Highlands, they have a white oak tree that is massive and beautiful. And this legacy that we're planning today comes from that tree. And so we are so proud to find out more about that. So now, glad to introduce to you Robert Tramp. Thank you, uh, Dr. Clemens. Appreciate it. Uh, we, as she said, have been at this project a good long time. And, uh, after the storm, there seems to be a need somewhat for trees around here. So it seemed like the, the right time to do this. But uh, I would uh, say to you that she's right. I've had a long, long standing interest in Chipola, and we're going to work really hard to get this place landscaped. Dr. Clemens is putting into place a comprehensive plan to landscape the whole campus. And we got some of the top, uh, or the top, uh, landscape engineers, architects coming in to do that in the next uh, month and meet with Dr. Clemens and those of you from uh, faculty and staff and students that would have input into that comprehensive plan. Today we're here, uh, my younger brother, young, I got one older, one younger, Jeff didn't go to Chipola. Chipola tried hard to get him to come here. Uh, he was a little bit too good and uh, he went off to uh, other places. Uh, but. Uh, he, he uh, would have met some stiff competition here, I can tell you that, on the hardwood. But uh, Jeff, uh, and I'm going to present him in just a minute, but I'm going to tell you about how I got interested in this tree. Jeff uh, is an alumnus of the College of William and Mary. Uh, the College of William and Mary owns Highlands. Highlands is the home of uh, Monroe, so President Monroe. So when I went there to visit, Highlands is beautiful and it's adjacent to Monticello. Uh, Thomas Jefferson mentored uh, Monroe, James Monroe, so he got a place next to him and they would visit back and forth. Well, this massive white oak was there and I looked at it, it was just beautiful. And I immediately wanted acorns and I wanted one specifically for Chipola. So I got my brother who is head of the foundation to arrange that for me and those uh, acorns were presented to me and eight of the ten germinated. This is the first one, uh, uh, Chipola's first with me, so uh, it's the first one that, that we planted. And uh, I would say also this year, Jeff, is very significant. Uh, 2019, I think it was uh, 1819, 
when Monroe got serious about acquiring Florida from Spain. And Jeff, from a personal standpoint, our great, great, great grandparents, uh, uh, Joel and Amelia Porter, moved here to Jackson County, even before it was owned by the U.S. And they got what was called a Spanish land grant. They were encouraging people to come into the new uh, U.S. possession to be Florida. So we have a personal connection to this year and to this tree, and we all have a connection to this tree. This guy is the, the guy that got Florida. So uh, James, President James Monroe Chipola returns honor to you today. This is our attempt to honor you for getting this great state, territory, and state uh, within the U.S. possession. So I want to tell you about Jeff. He's actually two years older than I am, not really. Jeff is a lawyer in D.C. He's uh, been a, a politician, a lobbyist. He's worked diligently for the foundation at the College of William and Mary. The foundation is the arm of the university that raises money to give to students for worthwhile causes to endow chairs and teachers and that kind of thing. He has been the president, uh, they call it the rector of the College of William, the College of William and Mary, which is a great, great honor. Uh, I'm very proud of Jeff and all that he's accomplished, and I'm proud that he gave us this tree here. Uh, he's going to tell you, I think, that the College of William and Mary is the oldest institution, pub a public institution of higher learning in the nation. Certainly it's one of the best uh, from an academic standpoint in the nation. So this tree joins together two great institutions of higher learning. I want you to help me welcome my brother, Jeff Trammell. Thanks, Robert, and thanks for the uh, privilege of being here with you today. I have the misfortune of being the only member of my family not to go to Chipola. <laughs> but every summer, I've come to basketball camp here for five or six years, so I feel like uh, I'm an alum, sort of. Uh, and then um, went on to William and Mary, looking for a, guy, a place where a guy like me who couldn't jump and was slow could play basketball. So I wound up there. Um, this tree is really about public education, and as chair of the Board of Trustees at William & Mary, I've had the chance to interact a lot in higher education around the country. Um, and, you know, it's really, public education is so important. All of you are here for one reason, because public education provides you opportunity, right? That's a whole idea. Uh, our job in higher education is to say, we can help you achieve your dreams. We can help you do more with your life. And when you think about a guy like James Monroe, he's an alumnus of William & Mary. He didn't come from a rich background. He had an uncle who helped put him through college there. But then he went on eventually to be president of the United States after he'd served his country, working for George Washington, crossing the Delaware. You've seen that, you've seen that boat, the painting before. He's the guy that scouted that, that crossing. He was ambassador to France. He was Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense at the same time, only man to do that. But he believed in education. It was very much part of his uh, value system. And then he was president in 1819 when he decided to buy Florida from Spain. And uh, so 200 years ago now, uh, he made where we're standing today possible by negotiating a deal with Spain to buy this state. Uh, his home, Highland, I encourage you to visit sometime if you're in Virginia, uh, not right next to Jefferson's, as Robert said. The two men would walk back and forth talking all the time about current events and share books and really enjoyed each other's company. But this magnificent oak is still there, right where he stood, right where his family lived. And I can't think of a better symbol of public education and the importance of it than to make this presentation from the oldest public university in the country to Chipotle, particularly at a time when we could use a few more trees, right? So we're very pleased to be able to be part of this. And on behalf of William and Mary, my, uh, my role there is to say, we're happy to honor our alumnus, President Monroe. We're also very happy to honor Chipotle and the role it's playing in higher education. There really is nothing more important from my point of view. So thank you for allowing us to be part of this. Uh, we commend President Clemens for all she's doing. Great job here. 
moving Chipola forward and thank all of you for, uh, for being here. My pleasure.